This is the DJI Ronin RS3 Pro, DJI's latest and greatest single-handed gimbal stabilizer. Today I'm going to give you an ultra quick tour of how the Ronin RS3 Pro fits together, how easy it is to balance and of course just a few of the new features. First up the assembly. This starts by screwing the mini tripod into the grip and then clicking in the main gimbal body. So the major features here are the focus wheel and trigger on the front. On the right we have the all important lock that ensures the gimbal head is securely fixed to the grip base. On the front of the grip is the joystick, mode and shutter button which will start recording or taking pictures once your camera is connected through USB or Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is a new addition. Moving up the gimbal we have three axis pan, tilt and roll, pretty standard. They're all fully locked at the moment with these locks, two slide button locks and this small pullback lever on the pan axis. An interesting feature here is that these locks are all automatic, so as soon as you power the RS3 Pro these locks release, then when you power down the Ronin flips into the transport position and the axis is all re-lock helping to avoid gimbal and camera damage whilst moving. On the tilt arm here you can see three USB type C ports. The lower one goes through to the video transmission system, either the RavenEye or Pro Level transmission combo. The middle socket goes to the focus motor if you have one and the top one connects directly to your camera. I'll show you the focus motor, RavenEye and the transmission combo in further videos. The setup for the RS3 Pro is much the same as usual. The small base plate screws into the camera space. On the side you'll see these screw threads so you can attach the focus motor. I'll do that again in a separate video. Now I'll connect the longer base plate to the RS3 Pro and slide on the camera and lock it in place. These levers are a little fiddly. On to the balancing. I'll start with tilt, moving the camera back and forth until I find the balance. Next I need to adjust the position on the tilt arm. I can either raise the camera or lower it. Somewhere in the middle takes a little bit of adjustment and that's just right. Now the adjustment of this is initially a little bit sticky but as it starts to wear it actually becomes more fluid and much easier to adjust. Essentially when the camera is in the right position you should be able to rotate the camera up or down and it'll hold its position. Okay next I'm going to hold the pan arm and I'm going to adjust the roll arm to again find balance so when I move the camera it stays in that position. Finally it's balancing of the pan arm. By holding the gimbal at 45 degree angle I again adjust the arm to find the point of balance. Finally I can connect the camera to the RS3 Pro. So I'll pop this into the USB type C socket on the RS3 Pro and then stick the other end into the Sony multiport. Now there is another option and that's to connect through Bluetooth and when you're using the RavenEye this is the preferred option especially for the likes of the Sony a7 III. Now when I power up the camera it's all nicely balanced but it's still good practice just to run through the auto calibration feature and this takes just a few seconds. Once completed I can get started. I can start and stop recording by pushing the red button on the grip and I can switch between the different modes here or using the physical button on the right hand side of the grip. So that's the basic outline of the RS3 Pro. If you have any questions or comments please leave them in the box below and do check out the other videos on the RS3 Pro, Focus Motor, Raven's Eye and Transmission Combo.